Hello, in this video, I just show you how I make super tech animation in my RFT template from Unreal Engine 4. Basically, it's three major steps. The first is to make the animation in your software. In my case, I use Blender. The second is to import animation and connect it in your action blueprint. And the final step is to override your action from your custom blueprint. It's just an example to use in my IFC template. But of course, you can keep the same idea in your custom project. So it's the first step, animation in Blender. As you can see, I prefer to use a camera in Blender to have a true preview for the in-game after. The camera is a kind of empty skeletal mesh. Use a bone as socket. You can also use another windows in Blender to have a true preview. So as you can see, I can have an idea about my final animation shot. So you can see how we have animation for, for the character and animation for the camera. It's a camera and it's a character. You can notify the animation end to this frame and this will be the same for the camera. When the animation is good, you will export for Unreal Engine. In my case, I use Blender for Unreal Engine 4. So, it's the second step. When I have my animation in Unreal Engine, I will prepare my action DT. So my animation is at this row. As you see, I put my animation here and inventory my wing animation and my custom action handler. Of course, I add some of any notify to add SFX, VFX, etc. This is the second step. And the final step is about action handler. So my NA super action handler. I'm not going too much detail, but I can explain somewhat. I will store my location before the cinematic. Spawn the camera super cinematic manager. Spawn the skybox for my animation, my custom background. And then play the camera animation and force at my character to go in at the first action frame. And then you can stop time of all other actors except the caster and hide the battle UE. All of these are happening at the start. And when the action ended, this is called arc stick stroll overrided function. Basically, I will just restore all necessary things in the normal battle state. This 
Then, when I play and test my cinematic action, it's the result. <laughs>